Callahan. So this is an interesting development. Brilliant. Typically brilliant. He gets rid of the ball so quickly. He gets to it quickly and then releases it quickly. And that is his secret. Speed over five meters. Look how quickly he gets rid of this. Doesn't matter how. Superbly fielded by John T. Rhodes. Just another brilliant, brilliant save. Here again, lovely shot of the back with and John T. Full stretch, diving there and as quick as ever, back up to throw the ball at the stumps. As Snell now is in to Simmons. Oh, and a fine piece of fielding, John T. Rhodes again. And if that had hit the stumps, it might have been a close one. But he's just like a piece of mercury, this chap. A real jack-in-a-box. That was in the air, and brilliant stop. And the crowd love it. Great crowd, but a terrific reaction. So let's uh, pass on the story to be picked up now by... That's brilliant building. The Jack in the Box, a backward point. Outstanding game on Thursday night. And once again, superb in the field. I wonder why he was shaking his head though. <laughs> Maybe he felt he was getting a little too slow. He should have uh, fielded it without diving. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And if it had hit, he was out. And now they're looking for the other end. Well, what an extraordinary piece of cricket. Andy Flower is now the man that's under pressure. Well, Andy Wallace tearing it to wide of Jumpy Roads. Look at that extraordinary piece of fielding. Getting his hands and transferring the ball very quickly. Having a go at the stumps. Missing for a change. But uh, this time the fielder Cullinan picking up at mid-wicket, backing up, and he has a go at the bowler's end stumps. That's very quick thinking uh, from Cullinan. And uh, Andy Flower's bat is nowhere in the picture. I think he's got... But a superb piece of cricket, starting with... Cullinan saw Andy Flower was out of his crease, shied at the stumps, hit, and Zimbabwe lose their second wicket. He'll be out of the heads. John T. Rhodes it was again. Absolutely outstanding. G loves his cricket. Today G really had to get back as smartly as possible there. This is good cricket. Not really timing, diving to his left, getting into position and throwing. Pitch it directly. No, Jadija is well in. John T. Rhodes. Quite spectacular in the field. You can hear the crowd reaction to that piece of fielding. Not only is he magnificent, but he makes it look so spectacular as well. Yes, this is what I mean when I say the Sri Lankans mustn't have been used to fielding like this. Saved a couple of runs here. Any more as this game progresses. It's a lovely look. Oh, what a magnificent piece of fielding by Rhodes. Well, that's what the crowd's come to watch John T. Rhodes for. It was brilliant. The end of the 17th over, Sri Lanka now 76 for two. And John T. Rhodes, quite brilliant. Oh, what a joy it is to see this man in action. One of the most magnificent sights in cricket and up in a flash. Oh, Jumpy. What an effort. Well, just when you think you've uh, broken the shackles and got away with a nice boundary, there's Jumpy Rose to go and pull off something spectacular and you don't even get a single for it. Well done, Joe! What a save. Brilliant, Joe. 
He cracked that. And John D. Rhodes saved it as if it was the most simple thing in the world. Someone's going to be run out here. Half an inch. He is incredible. John D. Rhodes. This is really so dangerous. You think you've got an easy run to third man. He gathers it, throws it in almost in the same dive. Brilliant, Donkey Rhodes. Well, this is a magic piece of fielding from the best fielder in the world. Two hands diving to his wrong side, which is his left side. What a magnificent stop. Lee, he got 80, didn't he, John D. Rose? 85. I'll just stand corrected here. Yeah? Yes, uh, brilliant inning. <laughs> I think the no-ball call certainly would have uh, helped uh, the Indian pair make up their minds not to go for the run, apart from the fact that, of course, the ball was going for...